Here's a brief introduction to OnBus. If you want to know more, go to www.onbus.com. It all starts in 1911, where Frederick W. Taylor, an engineer from the United States of America, uh, analyzed what was the reason why a business at that time created so little value, which meant that the workers only made so little money and society really didn't take off. He said, what we need is a shift from craft to industry, and that will help people make much more money for the benefit of everyone. He wrote a book, The Principles of Scientific Management, 143 pages, and that book has three main principles. The first one is that each process should be split into small processes so that uh, each of those small processes could really be refined and optimized the best possible way. And that was principle two, optimize each process. Um, in order to optimize the process, it was necessary to automate if possible. It was necessary to train and select the workers so that they really could produce the maximum per working hour and they used scientific methods and statistics to do it. He also introduced managers and a new type of organization emerged. That was the functional hierarchy. The functional hierarchy with the boss at the top, with department heads and each has uh, his uh, group leaders and they have their workers and the whole thing, the whole thing uh, bec became a bureaucracy or a hierarchy uh, with the boss at top. Each middle manager would uh, refer to somebody and would have command over others. And he would have a precise job description showing exactly what he was supposed to do and what sort of authority he has. This mindset was fantastic. It brought us wealth. It brought us a lot of new products. It brought us uh, globalization. And he was the main reason why the 20th century became such a fantastic uh, time for increased uh, wealth. Productivity, uh, which is what uh, manufacturing is all about, uh, went up all the time, which means that the cost per unit uh, actually over 100 years, in many cases, multiplied by 100. This was the essence of mass production. Uh, it was good, it gave stable and good quality, but it was not very well suited for mass customization and for products and services that would include a lot of knowledge uh, and a lot of collaboration between workers with different uh, uh, qualifications. Now, let us move to 2013. And let us see how OnBoss could be an answer to this. OnBoss is uh, based is good for knowledge work, service work, uh, and work where there's a high level of complexity. Uh, it avoids the silos that tend to emerge in the hierarchical organizations and which tend to improve cross-functional uh, communication. And it also avoids being, people being unhappy being part of these bureaucracies. Here's a book on BOSS, and that also has three principles. The first one is to put purpose ahead of profit, which means, for example, that we should have clean water, clean water instead of pumps. It means that we should have happy people uh, with good quality of life instead of hearing aids. And it all, it's all about having a simple and powerful purpose that has an impact on people and on society. That's what it's about. Then the second principle is to move organizations from limited into unlimited organizations. And those organizations should, be, should not be the hierarchies, but they should be driven by passion. And it is a passion for the purpose. Passion is not pumps, it's water. Passion is not hearing aids, it's quality of life. Passion is environment. Passion is impact on people's lives. 
Skype has a great passion, which is that we should all be connected for free throughout the world. Google has another passion, which is all information should be searchable. Wikipedia has another passion, which is that all knowledge should be put at the disposal of all of us. Ted uh, wants to spread ideas, etc., etc. So the third principle is that structures should be should go away and be substituted by mechanisms. And there are many mechanisms, and you know them. Skype. If you connect to another guy on Skype, you're actually a salesperson, and you even help uh, this guy with customer service. Wikipedia has mechanisms for contributors, for editing, correcting, so that the quality of the, the encyclopedia becomes great. So these mechanisms can be created for people having fun, for p giving people influence, for people playing games, etc. And it's all about a new way of thinking. Now, all of this, all of this requires a different form of leader, an unboss. And you think he can't make money? I guarantee you he can. Thank you for listening and see you at unboss.com.